friends welcome back to our channel this is Rohit friends in today's video we are going to discuss Android list view so in this video first of all we will discuss what Android list view is then we will discuss the steps that we are going to follow in order to implement the list view and at last I will demonstrate you how we can use list view in Android application so let's start the video by understanding what is Android list view so Android list view is a view is a GUI component which contains the group of atoms list of atoms and that list of atoms or group of atoms is displayed in a scrollable list so whenever the list of atoms will cross the viewable area vertically it will start scrolling so the list view is implemented by importing android.widget.listview class so the name of class is list view so list view is default scrollable so which does not use any other scroll view so as i told whenever the list of item will cross the vertical view area then it will start scrolling and list view is a default scrollable so vertical scrolling is possible with help of list view now next to that we will try to understand how list of item is added to list view so list view is using the adapter classes which basically adds the contents from the different data sources so it may be string array it may be array or it may be database so from different sources the list of atoms can be added to the list view so for that we have to use the adapter classes so the purpose of adapter class is to displaying the data in form of the scrollable list in the list view so users will be able to select any list of atom just by clicking on it so very common example of list view is in our phone like phone contact book or you might have observed the list view in phone settings as well okay where we will be able to present the list of items to the user now let's try to understand what steps we are going to follow in order to use the list view so first of all we will create the source of our data that is array then we will declare the object of list view then we will create the array adapter then next to that we will fetch the reference of list view from the xml file and at last we will set the adapter to our list view these five steps we are going to follow in order to create the list view now next to that we will understand how event handling will be implemented with the list view now in order to implement the event handling in list view we have to use a method called set on item click listener so this method is used for implementing event handling with the list view so whenever user will tab on any list of item the on item click method will get execute so this set on item click listener has one method called on item click method so you are going to write your logic within this method now this method requires four parameters first one is a parent second one is a view third one is a position and fourth one is id now let's look at all these parameters one by one now first of all parent now this parent is type of adapter view now it just tell us where the click happen second parameter we have view now this is type of view now this is the view within which adapter is implemented and adapter view was click then third parameter we have position this is of type integer so this returns the position of view in the adapter and last one is the id this is having return type long this is the row id of item that was click these are the four parameters that are specified with the on atom click method and this on atom click method is implemented within this set on atom click listener now 
I will take you to the Android Studio and over there we will try to implement now the Android list view. So for that here in this project I will add one new activity and name of our activity will be demo list view and here I will click on finish now friends I will continue after gradle sync process now friends here our gradle sync process has completed and uh, we got these two files XML and Java now first of all in this XML file I will try to change the layout over here so instead of this constant I am going to use here a relative layout and now here I will add the list view so in the legacy option you will find this list view over here simply drag and drop this list view here in the component tree like this and now you can see here the list of atoms it is showing by default like this okay now here I will set the ID for our list view so here the ID will be just a list view one this is the ID which I have set now next to that if we go to XML so you will get this uh, list view related code over here okay now we will come to the java file here we are going to write our logic now first of all here we will create one array that is our data source from which we will try to show the list of atoms so i will write here string and here we will write city names this is our array name is equal to and within this pair of curly brackets I am going to specify the list of cities now friends to save our time I have already prepared this list of cities so I will just copy this list of cities within this pair of curly brackets like this okay so here our array is now created like this okay so next to that I am going to declare the object of list view so I will start typing list view list view and uh, we will specify the name of list view as LV1 this is our object okay now friends within this on create method we are going to create the array adapter so in order to create array adapter we will start typing array adapter and we will specify the type of array adapter as string and the name of our array adapter will be city names adapter is equal to new array adapter again here I will specify the type and now friends here we have to specify three parameters to this array adapter first parameter is the context the activity in which you are working so you can simply use this keyword to specify the context now next to that we have to specify the layout file so start typing here android dot r dot layout dot now here we are going to select this simple list atom one okay and next to that third parameter we have to specify that is the data source so simply write the name of array 
so our name of array is city names like this we have specified the array adapter over here now friends next to this i will fetch the reference of our list view from the xml file so here i will write the object name list view 1 is equal to find view by id and here we will write r dot id dot and our id was list view 1 and friends we need to type cast this result into list view so for that here i will start typing list view like this so this is how we have fetched the reference to our list view from xml file now friends at last we will set the array adapter to our list view so here i will write list view one dot set adapter and here we will specify the name of our adapter that is city names adapter so friends here we have completed the code for list view so five steps we have followed here created array then created the object of list view then created the array adapter with three parameters the context the layout file and the data source then we have fetched the reference for our list view from xml file and at last we have set the array adapter to our list view now friends in order to run this project i will do some modification like in my project there are two activities available like main activity and demo list view activity but these two activities are not linked with each other so i'm going to run this demo list view activity directly so to do that i will go to run edit configuration and here you can see there is a launch option so in this i'm going to select specified activity and this demo list view activity i'm going to select so click on ok now it is showing you that this activity must be exported so to do that click on ok and go to manifest file android manifest file and now here uh, look for your activity here it is our activity demo list view and you can see the exported value is false so simply make it true okay so now we will be able to run this activity whenever we will launch our project okay now friends i will click on this run app and here the process has started and now it is installing app now i will tab on install button now friends you can see on screen we got the list of cities as an list view now if i scroll it towards upside you can see it is getting scroll towards the top side and if now we reach to the last city so again i will scroll it down like this so you can see the scrollable list is getting presented to the user now user can tab on the item which he want to select like this i am tabbing you can see here so like this user will tab and uh, select the item whatever he want now friends we will try to add event handling to our list view okay so whenever user will click on any item we will try to display that item name with help of toast so to do that as we discuss here we are going to implement set on item click listener method okay so here
and we will write lv1 dot set on atom click listener and here we will start typing new adapter view on atom click listener and you can see here we got this method on atom click okay and it has four parameters first one is the adapter view second one is the view third one is a position and fourth one is a row id these four parameters we have and now here we are going to write our logic now we want to display the toast message whenever user will click on any item so to do that first of all we will declare one string variable over here which will store the item which user has click string atom name is equal to now here we have to specify our array adapter name so city names adapter dot get atom and here to this method we have to specify the position value so here I will represent the position value so simply specify I over here now whichever item user has click that item will get available within this atom name variable which is having type string and now next to that we will create a toast and here we are going to write message user click and here I am going to add the value of atom name and we will change the length to long so this is how we have added the event handling to our list view so whenever user will tab on any item click on any item so that item will get available within this item name using this get item method of uh, adapter and uh, here with help of this toast we will display it as a message okay now friends we will relaunch our project and uh, let's try to see how it is working and now friends you can see we got the output again with the list of cities now I will tab on particular city over here let's say Gwalior you can see now it is showing user click Gwalior ok if I click on indoor you can see we are getting this toast showing that user click indoor ok in the same way like any city whichever you will click you will tap this toast message will be shown to you according to city name so this is how we can implement the list view in android friends if you find this video useful please like and share this video i will see you in next video thank you for watching